The first victim is the butler. You've invited the right guy to the guess who the killer is party. Hello, uh, I look ginormous right now and that is because I am. I've actually grown. You might have noticed this giant box right next to me. And uh, given what we're watching, you might have a rough idea. This was sent to me by a lovely viewer of mine, Sophie, last name redacted, because uh, I believe I'm, I'm not gonna dox her. I'm not gonna say her last name, it's redacted. P.O. Box, if you want to send me anything, I will- I'll accept anything. <laughs> oh, it's just pa- just paper. I knew it was gonna be this, I didn't think it was gonna be this big. Oh, well he's- he's dead now. Child's Play 2, that is a good- I actually really like Child's Play 2. Child's Play 2. I'm actually a little creeped out. I'm kind of scared he's just gonna whisper something foul in my ear. I wanna punch it in the face. <laughs> Has it got batteries? <laughs> just have to check. Well, a massive, oh, Jesus, I thought he was attacking me. Well, a massive thank you to Sophie Redacted. This, this is awesome. I, I am a little creeped out because I didn't think it was gonna be I didn't think it was going to be this so Like, that's a small child. <laughs> Alright, I just had to make sure. He's going to sit right there and uh, he's going to watch me watch his own franchise, which... What are your thoughts about that? Hmm, clever. Clever. I feel like he actually lost weight in postage, though, because, like... Look at him. Sorry to grab you by the neck here, dude. You might like it, though. I feel like he's lost weight. His overalls don't fit. I don't think I should be the one that starts the video today, so, uh, Charles, do you want to take it away? Damn, I thought I'd be able to get him by saying his real name. He's, like, looking directly at you. Alright, let's watch. Where's the doll, Jake? I have no idea. He's out selling cookies because he's a scout. Pray for forgiveness. He put his glasses back on and he's like, Oh shit, you're not even Jake. I couldn't even see properly. <laughs> Father Bryce recording a Chucky reaction without his glasses on. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be watching more Chucky. I'm pretty sure I'm looking at my camera. The Colonel. That's it. He knows the 11 herds of spices. Get him! Let's do it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, stop. Sick. Fuck, he's enjoying it. Of course he is. Why would he not enjoy pain? If you're gonna pull my hair, at least tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> oh, you kinky little bastard, okay. Maybe it's a good thing we didn't get Jennifer Tilly's ball gag, because, uh, he might like it. Are we tipping the drugs out? What are we doing? Are we getting rid of them? Oh no, we're just, help we're just helping them go down. Alexandra. Hi there. Oh no. Not discount Draco Malfoy. How is Mayor Cross, by the way? I wouldn't know. Uh oh. Right. Maybe I should call her former Mayor Cross. She just lost the election. Yes! She lost! I was crushed when I heard the news too. I wasn't. <laughs> I'm exhilarated now. Have a blessed day. Why was he giving off like postman aesthetic then? Have a great day. Here's your mail. <laughs> I actually really like the look of the doll this season. Every time he has an iteration, whether it's a movie or a show, he looks completely different. You didn't have any clean socks? Oh! Don't be a problem for you much longer. Oh! Well, if we had to use one of the other socks, it wouldn't have even bent around your mouth. It would have snapped it off. I'm like the MVP of serial murder. Shut up. I've killed more people than you have Insta followers. Okay, put the gag back in his mouth. I killed your mother. Hell, I even killed my own mother. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Wait, Devil, what are you doing? He was he was insulting me! He was testing my patience! Hi. Oh my lord. 
Lord, give me strength. What's wrong with Nadine? <laughs> she seems precious. What is it you need, child? <laughs> oh, I need to confess. Confession is closed for the day. It is? That's right, I'll just confess for you. No, please. That's no problem. Um, I I'll come back tomorrow. Just talk to her, man. See you tomorrow, Nadine. Is she just too much? Like one of those friends that you have over for like 20 minutes and they just stay for four hours? We reprogram him. Like brainwashing. Mm. We Put him in like Spanish mode or something. I mean, it might work. And I bet you know how to do it too because oh. we're super into that one podcast on MKUltra. Oh my God, he's podcast. We can't record our podcast from here. What happened to our podcast equipment and everything? Is it canceled? Chucky's like... What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing, Charles. You didn't even get a dedicated episode. I got everything I could find. She literally walks around like a fairy. <laughs> I'm really excited. I've never been to a sleepover with boys before. <laughs> or girls. <laughs> She's precious, man. All right. Stage one. Oh my god. What the f- that's like a full brainwash. <laughs> Pass the popcorn. He likes it! Put on Toy Story, you might get PTSD when he hears Andy's coming. That's hurting my eyes. That's making my eyes water. What the fuck are we watching now? Like a, a Bridgeco music stream? <laughs> so he's fixed? No, he's- he's ready for stage two. Stage two? We're gonna put Bluey on or something now, aren't we? That's stage two. Chucky wants to watch the nine o'clock news. Oh, that's a reference to the first child's play. <laughs> what a throwback. No. Oh, why is it so clear? I know it's meant to be vomit, but why does it look like, why does, why does it look like cum? <laughs> Yeah. Yummers. This is essentially what parents do with iPad kids. Just chuck them in front of an iPad and they just sit there and just... How, how did how did Nadine sleep like that? There's a bed right there as well. You're gonna wake up and go, Oh my God, be back, be back. Hey, I like to be hugged. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Um, um, no? How many Chuckies are there and what are you planning? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I think you might have wiped his brain too much. We didn't brainwash him. We brain bleached him. You let him cook too long, actually. You fried his brain. The ropes came loose during My Little Pony. But I didn't want to bother anyone. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm hungry. You know what? I'm done. Devin, wait, come on. Okay, well, um, I have to talk to him. Can you watch Chucky for me? Devin was an accurate representation then of the hardcore Chucky fans then. Seeing like what happened to Chucky then made him good. What? I'm leaving. What, what'd they do to Chucky? No need to worry about me. I took four years of Krav Maga. What the fuck is Krav Maga? Can you please just talk to me? There's nothing to talk about. Yes, there is. The thing to talk about is where the fuck is Glenn and Glenda? How can you tease that at the end of episode two and then it doesn't even happen so far this episode? So, sorry, I'm annoyed. What if he could help us? What if he kills you, Jake? What am I supposed to do then? Cry. Just promise me. For now. That you won't do anything to Chucky, okay? Nope. Sorry, I'm not promising that at all. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. If there's the one thing you don't want to be caught doing in a religious school, it's... it's that. Lexi, what are you doing in the drugs? Do you know when the nurse will be back? I am the nurse. That doesn't answer my question. But can I have some drugs? First I find out you have a drug problem and now you're scoping out the infirmary. What do you want, Trevor? I just want to help you. There's so much in here. He just wants to have fun. He's a quirky little boy. He's starting to get on my nerves a little bit though. I mean, let there be a thousand blossoms bloom as far as I'm concerned. You know, 
but I ain't spending any time on it. You think this place is bad, you fuck up. We'll show you how much worse it can get. Oh my god. I don't know where you can get condoms. Oh. <laughs> Trevor Kane. <gasps> Such a good tactic. But if it makes you feel any better, my situation here couldn't possibly get worse. A bully taking on a bully is so much fun. Because they try to outdo each other and they know what to do to do it. Mr. Evans, I thought you were sick. No, I'm gay. Oh, and sick. I'm also <coughs> sick. You shouldn't be out of bed if that's the case. This is going to be uncomfortable. I should get back to bed. Or maybe the feeling isn't biological. What? <laughs> See? Father Brass, I'm unwell. Sometimes the actions of others weigh heavy on our souls. Oh, get to the point, Four Eyes, okay? I know. Fix the tie and tuck in the shirt. And s s stop kissing boys! <laughs> my dad got me my cat, Mr. Pasta, so I'd be less lonely. I really miss him. He really is like the brother I never had. He's really cuddly, but he also Cut. likes his alone time. Mr. Pasta sounds genuinely cool. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. An apple? An apple a day keeps Charles Lee Ray at bay. <laughs> What's with the Minecraft music, though? Calm down, Nadine. It's Chucky. At One Direction. Mm. <laughs> A One Direction line? What the fuck? Okay, that was kind of cute. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna fall in love with a doll today. That's just not on my list of things to do. Father Bryce said that if we don't have the doll back on his desk by the end of the day, then there's going to be trouble. Father Bryce can screw himself. Oh my. This is fun. Not for Father Bruce. Uh, Bryce. Uh, he can call himself whatever he wants. Where do dolls come from? That's a good question. Okay, so when a mummy doll and a daddy doll likes each other very much, they get manufactured in a different country. What's your favorite class? Napping. How do you get your hair so shiny? Leave in conditioner. Do you have a cat? Yes, I do, and I love him very much. Do you have a boyfriend? I did have a boyfriend. What is a boyfriend? Junior, junior, junior. I'm just thinking of Brad Dourif in like the booth just doing that voice. It's so funny. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been three days since my last confession. Lexi's awesome, but I think she's addicted to drugs. Actually, I know it. You can't just out people like that, I don't think. They're meant to be your confessions, not, hey, the roommate I have is doing drugs. Trevor is still the worst. I know I'm not supposed to wish ill on people, but I wouldn't hate it if had to sneeze every time he had cereal and Cheerios just flew out Interesting wish. Maybe if Hold you Hold on, I don't want to lose my train of thought. <sighs> oh! Is Nadine like a human equivalent of a newsletter? It just gets sent out every three days and it's like, oh, please, I need to unsubscribe from this because it's getting annoying. <laughs> oh! Oh no! Really? In, in the booth? Father O'Malley? You okay? Yeah, okay, Nadine. Yeah, I'm in a bit of trouble right there, Nadine. Uh, oh, oh. <coughs> oh god, I actually choked myself. So what's my penance? Ha, ah, 400 Hail Marys. 400? <laughs> Aye! What's that mean, by the way? Do I have to say Hail Mary 400 times? As I said, I'm not religious, so I don't know what that means. What version of... Ch That's not good guy, Chuck. That's that one that got delivered, I think. He loves hearing confessions that much that he's going to spend the rest of his life doing it because he's not going anywhere else. Jesus Christ, the Percocet addiction is fucking top tier with Lexi. Oh, no, my drugs! The hardest part of quitting drugs is the trip that comes 15 minutes later. Oh, God. Not good guy Chucky. The good Chucky's out and about, is he? Ironically, that's not good. Lexi? She hasn't OD'd, has she? Oh, please. Uh, not please, like, can that happen? Nadine, don't crawl under the stalls. 
What are you doing? Why is she just dropping a turd? And you're just like, hi. Ah! Everything is up to here. And I'm doing my best to stay afloat, but it's impossible. And I hate when Jake and Devin fight. And I hate that my mom can't just be normal. And I hate Trevor and his dumbass face. Oh, I fucking hate that doll. Me too. We all do. We all, okay, get in line. I wish all days could be great. It sucks that they can't. I wish all days could be great. I can be a friend. Aww. And good friends can make it through anything. Oh! <laughs> I just want to give her a freaking hug, man. Want to get out of here? Oh. I have a stash of Oreos in our room. Oreos? Fuck yeah, Nadine. Oh my god. I didn't think I'd almost cry over an Oreo conversation, but here I am. <laughs> I'm such a softie. <laughs> I'm such a softie. That's not the good version of Chucky. I don't know what version that is. That looks like the version of Chucky that hasn't had a shower in three years. Hi, I'm Chucky. Want a shower? I like to be healthy. <laughs> I totally think we're about to see Trevor die here. Because Nadine wished for it earlier. Except he's picked the wrong time of day to go for a bowl of cereal. Oh, you bastard. You're planting drugs on her? What the fuck? Why'd he go flying? Oh! I get that he has the strength of a man, but come on. Oh, I never skip arm day. <laughs> Shut up. Oh dear, sweet godmother of Hail Mary, Jesus. Yeah, you're gonna have to do another 8,000 Hail Marys. Oh, where is Chucky? Did you give him the brace? No, no, I, I left him with Lexi. Uh, heads up, it could be John Kramer on the floor. Let's just kick him or something to make sure. Inspection! Now! Inspection! You have to give me two weeks notice. It's in like the rental agreement. You're not gonna get caught out, but I just don't know how the hell you're gonna hide this. I believe wholeheartedly <laughs> that this is not gonna go down well at all. I'm sorry, I saw the joke there and I just, I just had to take it. Headache? All better. Uh, I would leave the room and cringe because that is embarrassing. Hello, I'm Professor Elephant. And I'm Professor Giraffe. And we are elephants. Together, we are talking animals. Okay, good inspection. Thanks. Sister Ruth, I really need to know. And oh my gosh, what about brain-eating amoebas? Aren't they the fucking Nintendo Wii things? Amiibos or something? Wait, where are you going? Away from this. Is Devin whole thing this season just giving up? I'm leaving this situation. It's too much. See, Devin, that's the sixth time you've just walked out. Jake? Oh, no. We're not going to kill good oh, Chucky, oh, are we? On my list, all right. <laughs> what the fuck? Why the fuck's he talking? Why is he ripped? I don't usually eat cream puffs. What the What the, what the fuck? Why is he jacked? Why? <laughs> Why is he jacked? What? Why is Chucky on steroids? <sighs> I didn't expect to be like Jim Bro Chucky at all ever in my life, but uh, <laughs> okay. Glenn, Glenda. Chucky, we're trying to get everything on your rider. This thing is like 12 pages long. What the hell is this? You moron. Sh what? What is happening? I... I have not had an edible. I don't know what's going on still. We're live. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What are we doing? Nice to see you again. I hope you're enjoying the new season of my hit show. Thanks, baby. Care to spill any details? Yeah, tell us! Yeah, tell us! Anyway. Dog, you left her speechless. All in the name 
of love. It's actually kind of scary how successful his talk show would actually be. What are you doing on the floor? And what the hell is that? Why are they human? Where's the doll? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, sweet face. Are they played by the same person? It looks like the same person. It's your special day. Why don't you two take a load off? I want them as dolls, man. <laughs> Not humans. I guess it costs less budget wise to just have humans playing them. <laughs> Gotta be on your best behavior here, mummy. Mum, mummy, mum, mummy, uh, sorry, mum, mummy. We're great. That's wonderful, I've, I've been worried. That makes three of us. I'm pretty sure that's the same person playing Glenn and Glenda. He says you're running out of money. I'm doing fine. She's got that bloody Simpsons money, remember? Mom, who the hell is Nika Pierce? Well, first of all, you've got her first name incorrect. The fact that that one clip of him blowing a kiss has upset me speaks volumes to how much I loved Brie. Glenda poses an incommodious question. What the fuck does that word mean? I met her at one of those charity events I go to. She was a very sad and very unhealthy, mentally. Well, that's not good because I like to be healthy. <laughs> I don't care. I, I In season one, no one acknowledged that joke and I liked it. Did I ever hurt someone? Hurt? Did you? I can't recall. Oh. I think you did. Okay, yeah, you did. It just feels like I'm the one who did it. You're a murderer, and you should be in jail. He called me a shit face. That, that wasn't me, I promise. <laughs> I promise I'm not your dad. For your birthday. He was supposed to be here an hour ago. I told you my improv class went late. You're a butler? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, tonight I am. <laughs> Because of improv, well played. So suspicious. Not everything has to be an unpleasant surprise. Surprise! What the hell is this? Okay. Oh, I'm so I'm so surprised. But isn't it nice to see everybody? I mean, Auntie Gina, Uncle Pants. Uncle Pants is that his name? Uncle Pants. What happens if he wears shorts? Sutton, I paid you back. Damn, what is going on? I don't fucking know. I've been busy. Doing what? Being busy, obviously. It's her go-to thing. She says she's busy, but she doesn't know why. <laughs> Too busy to call? Yeah, that's what I like to say as well when someone's like, I've been too busy. Too busy to even take two seconds to send a message? Okay. Just tell us what's going on. What the hell is that? Oh my God, it's the Book of Mormon cast now too. <laughs> Hello, my name is Elder Cunningham. Have a hug for your long lost little sister? Why, why, why does it actually look like it could be Jennifer Tilly's sister? <laughs> Me five minutes after I wake up. Ew! Champagne. We'd love some. We'd love some too. Oh, oh what, Ollie? Everyone's wanting champagne that much, they should just rename it to Champagne. <laughs> I'm sorry. Two family. To family. To family. To... Uh, yep. Yeah. Aunt Meg. Shut up, Meg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he said it! He said it! Mom always said you were the older one. And is that true? Oh. <laughs> no. Well, she definitely looks like the old sister. Hmm. Oh, so where is she anyway? She even kind of has the voice down pat. Good casting for, like, a younger sister of Jennifer Tilly's. What? Are you doing? You're supposed to be downstairs. I was improvising. Well, don't. <laughs> I was improvising. I seem to be entering my Garbo era. Not everything has to be an error. Just because you're eating healthy does not mean you're in your healthy era. You are just eating. So, um, Meg, um, yeah. Shut up, Meg. You've been dodging me for 24 years. Clearly, I did something Ooh. to offend you and Jen, I miss- well, now I forgive you. 
Okay, uh, it's been a long 24 years, but thanks. You know, ever since you did that stupid Chucky movie, it's like, you that's when you stop. Seed of Chucky is not dumb. To be fair, I did stop talking to people when I started doing the Chucky movies too. Either that or people stopped talking to me. <laughs> I've never had a ball gag in my mouth. I never want to. But how is she still breathing? I would have choked and died. You would come back to see me and I'd be dead on the floor. And if it wasn't joking, I'd be gagging. <laughs> what the hell are you two supposed to be anyway? I beg your pardon? Oh no, dude. We're improvising too hard now. Why don't you drag yourself into the 21st century, asswad? Language evolves, tank breath. Please show my nibblings the simple respect they deserve. They're here. Your nibblings? What? Yeah. Other acceptable gender neutral terms for niece and nephew are niefling, chibling, and zipkit. What? Nibblings? That's what I get from the fucking cupboard when I'm hungry. Guard this door, you moron! Not to insult my gas! Well, what are you hiding in there anyway? If you must know, my girlfriend. Amputee with a ball gag in her mouth. It's a whole. Th I, oops. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Where's everyone gone? <laughs> surprise! <laughs> they, just, they just surprise her again. Oh. Uh, he's improvising. Uh, I, I, I think he's. I think he's dead. He's dead? He's improvising! Is this gonna be a game of like Cluedo or something and we gotta guess who the murderer is? Cause I'm pretty good at that. The first victim is the butler. You've invited the right guy to the guess who the killer is party. Now he's murdered. Not really, he's just, you know, an actor. Solid Oak. I can see his eyes moving from here. <laughs> Kill Jeeves. Sydney Prescott. <laughs> so he's a security officer. Our first clue. No, no, that, that doesn't mean anything. I am going to be asking all the questions from here on out. See, now if it wasn't the security guard that was dead and it was like Glenn or Glenda, it would be Jill Roberts. <laughs> That's, that's a bad joke. Just an Emma Roberts reference there. <laughs> Joey here must have killed the poor sod in self-defense. Oh, that's so good. Bravo. We're kind of Anglophiles. What the hell does that mean? You like angles? Obtuse, acute, 90 degrees, right angle. All right, all of you are behaving very strangely and very suspiciously. So. You're behaving pretty <gasps> peculiarly yourself. Uh, I think it's the sister. I think it's the sister. All of you had multiple motives when the victim refused to honor my kid's pronouns. Well, who would commit murder over pronoun? Murder. Honestly, you say the wrong pronoun today and you are sentenced to death. If you know what someone's pronouns are, obviously respect them. But if you don't know them and you say the wrong thing, you literally get executed. That's ridiculous. I mean, if we killed every small-minded idiot that insulted us, half the country would be dead by now. And we wouldn't hurt a fly. Yes, exactly. God, Glenn, or Glenn just, oh, Jesus, I fucked up there. Speaking facts. If you'll excuse me for a moment, a little, little emergency. I just gotta do a mad shot in the toilet. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little stressed. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. I thought frickin' Angela from Sleepaway Camp was crawling up behind you. <laughs> Can I tell you a secret? Sure. Right. Yes, I, I like secrets. Do you know when we first mm. met? It was, yes, yes, Saturday. What the fuck? Irresistible. Oh, I, 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 I hear that a lot. Imagine acting a scene out like this. I'd cringe so hard. No, um, 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 stop, 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 stop. Yeah, Gina. please. Can I ask you a question? Anything. She's about to get murdered. She's about to get classic throat slit. The butler, <laughs> did you kill him? Oh, uh, never mind. Uh, yes, I did actually. Mama has a surprise for you. I brought you something very special. Let's do some LARPing. Let's get some fucking chain mail, some shields, some swords. Get into the full kit, roleplay wise. Buy a fucking cannonball or something. <laughs> 
Joey, Joey. Joey, it's not. Oh, no, not more. What are we doing? Gina, yeah, uh, yeah. I think she wants uh, to bang you. Yeah, probably. Uh, 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 you let me watch. No, Joey. What? Uh, Dude, I know we're meant to be worried about Chucky, but I think we've got Cucky in the room too. If you blow me. Uh, not now, Joey. I'm really, really busy. Uh, now he's not Uncle Pants anymore. He's Uncle Shorts. I can't even get you out of the basement because we need the elevator. God, are you sure she doesn't know about this room? You don't need the elevator. To just pick her up, chuck her over your shoulder. She hasn't got arms and legs, so she should be a bit lighter. I cannot go back. I promise you're leaving this house tonight. Where are you gonna go? And what are you gonna do? Go to Mexico? Catch a flight there? You can't sit in a seat properly. You're gonna be overhead luggage. I want to see what she's hiding in that room. Skullduggery. Ah, that's how he found out a couple months ago. Now sniff it. Have you ever, have you ever done that though? You take out the earring, you sniff it, and you're like, oh! I think we should get out of here. Oh God, how the hell is this gonna go? I, I mean, obviously well, because they're working together now. But... Are you Glenn? No, I'm Glenda. Right. Yeah, that's not Glenn, that's Glenda. <laughs> she chopped off all my limbs and she's gonna be trapped in here for a year. Mom's a murderer, mom's a lesbian. <laughs> Mum's a lesbian? <laughs> oh, fuck. Ro roll her under the bed or something. <laughs> roll her under the bed. How do you think Fiona Dura feels about having to wear a ball gag for four episodes straight? Forgot this. Ah. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Daddy's gonna come out to play now. I'm your dad. Oh, <laughs> Chucky. Chucky. I wanted to stay, but your mom drove me away and lied to you about it. This is all bullshit. Deep down, you know it's true. How did they actually get rid of her arms and legs, though? I got a plan, shit face. Uh oh. What did you just call me? I always meant it affectionately. I'd rather be called shit face than face of shit. My pinky itches. Like phantom limb? That'd be so weird. Like my brain hasn't caught up to my body or something. Sometimes I feel like that too. Imagine how weird it would be to like have no limbs. How weird would that be though to just like bend your arm, but you don't have one? Do you know my dad too? Yeah, you could say that. Is he as crazy as my mom is? We can't have Glenn meet up with Chucky. It didn't it didn't go well in Cedar Chucky. It's not gonna go well here. Oh, good. Who's killing them? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Dad's coming out again. You ready to kill your mom, shitface? Oh Glenn! Oh I'm not Nika. <laughs> They never would have agreed to kill mom. Oh, that's too bad. It's scarily true though. Glenn is a pussy. I'm glad we took that precaution because if we didn't, Glenn would have pissed himself on the floor again. How did you get in there? Was it, it was, no, it wasn't. It was open. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> We've just wheeled her out for everyone to see. Hiya, doll. Oh, Chucky. Why don't you just die already? <laughs> That's some Kingsman shit right there. What the fuck? Do I shoot you in the head? Or the heart? Head, head, please don't damage the titties. Is she supposed to be the murderer? Because we haven't met her. It's I not don't totally fair. She's, the... <laughs> She's supposed to be the murderer. No, no, no. Almost. Oh. oh my God. <gasps> oh, now you're definitely getting shot. Okay. <laughs> Go on, Hot Wheels! Is she actually gonna get away? Roll faster! She actually gonna get out. She's gonna be free. Who the hell just pulled up? Go! Wheel faster! Wheel faster! Oh! <laughs> Did we just roll into the mystery machine? What was that? 
Andy? Andy? Nice to finally meet you. <gasps> Kyle? Also, trust Kyle to wear the same bloody hat she's worn for 30 years. <laughs> they still think it's a performance. <laughs> to help us figure it all out, please welcome one of my biggest fans, Liv Morgan! I have no idea who that is. But okay. Are you sure that's a WWE star and not a fucking star? Who do you think killed the butler? Well, I have a theory. It's always the person you least suspect. Jennifer Tilly's sister. Let's roll the tape. Just enough left. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Was it Glenda? I'm not bloody saying anything. I'm not- I'm not saying anything. Who took the bullets out of the gun? Maggie Simpson. Oh, no, sorry, she shot Mr. Burns. I knew she was seeing someone else. Uh, it, it, it's not what you think. Brother, that's what they all say. Okay, it's what you think. Is that why he was called Uncle Pants? <laughs> I love her. Oh, Wrong rest in peace, Pants Man. For a dude named Uncle Pants, he had a short lifespan. <laughs> That's such a dumb joke. I think I need a hug. You like to be hugged. I like to be healthy. <laughs> Liv, can you help me out? How? Roll the tape. You're about to get killed, I think. I just want to be... What? Brutally what is, murdered by... What is Harry. happening? <laughs> You know I was only kidding. <laughs> what is going on? Sweet dreams. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. All right, so that was Chucky episode three and four of season two. They... <laughs> They were two vastly different episodes completely. I feel like episode four was absolutely a filler episode though. You could kind of do with that without that entire episode apart from that like last couple minutes where she escapes. Kind of pointless, but fun. At first it was fun, then scary, then fun again, then spooky, but in a fun way. I love myself some campiness. I love myself some stupidity, but the last part of that with like the WWE wrestler and the talk show that's just dumb <laughs> that's just I didn't enjoy that I don't want to talk any longer because I've just been talking for an hour and a half I want to go and eat some lunch and do some other stuff but uh, I reckon I'm going to give the outro to our friendly little ginger haired friend today Chucky do you want to take it away oh wrong Chucky here you go tune in again next week good night <laughs> <laughs>